Hi all. If there's a question that I get asked a lot by friends or during the interviews that I, you know, have been through the past couple of weeks, is that how do I manage my time um, with so many things that I have on my plate? So as a context, if you don't know me personally or <laughs> through social media, I'm Bianca. I am currently a master's student um, in Cambridge. I do development studies. And on the side, I have a lot of things that I also do. Yeah, I get this on a weekly basis, this question of like, how do you manage your time? I have been trying a lot of time management styles, tips, systems, you name it. But what I realized after trying out all these different things is that there is a common pattern that I saw in all of these tips. And this is the assumption that you function at the same capacity every day. The existing sort of time management tips don't really talk about how people might have different energy level and capacity each day. And that is so true in my case, especially, you know, as a feeler, I do things when I feel like it. Um, and a lot of times, um, well, not a lot of times, sometimes I don't feel like doing certain things or I don't feel like doing anything at all in a day. Um, and I operate in a very fluctuative kind of um, brain capacity and emotional capacity and there are days where I feel like I run at like a thousand horsepowers and there are just other days where I felt like I just want to become a sloth and not do anything and just or do something very very slowly and that's totally fine I think that's totally normal and it's almost impossible to stick to just one time management style um, and so that's why in today's video I want to share with you the time management sort of tips or style that you can try and adopt um, when you're entering a slump or when you're not feeling like doing anything but you know as a responsible human being you still have to do something. <laughs> Okay, number one, just a very universal tip. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with, you know, feeling like you want to be a sloth <laughs> or don't want to do anything in a day is to use Google Calendar. Use Google Calendar to basically drop everything that you need to do, attending events, any deadlines, like little tasks, even like doing laundry or like doing grocery, because if you don't put it on your calendar, I think you wouldn't be able to get a sense of like what your week looks like or what your day looks like. Um, and when you store things in your brain, trust me, you'll forget it. Your brain is not for storing information. It's for thinking and analyzing stuff. So you want to free up your brain capacity from just storing information about deadlines or things you need to attend or tasks you need to finish. Just put it on a calendar. It's nice to kind of also log what you've done in a day. So when you look back, you know like how you've been utilizing your day, you know, any patterns that comes up, you can easily identify that. And sometimes like we overestimate or underestimate the time that, that we need to do something. So just having it on record like that is like very useful so that I can better sort of manage my day more efficiently and not spend too long of a time to do certain things. Now for the days where you're just a sloth, right? I figured this is like the best sort of solution for me is just to do one thing. <laughs> no, it's, it's very anticlimactic, no matter what it is. It could be cooking for yourself, doing your laundry, um, or typing a single paragraph of your essay. I did that when I was feeling very overwhelmed with all of my assignments and life <laughs> and all the other things that I need to do. And to me, finding out that I wake up and I just do one thing and like I allow myself to be okay with it and to acknowledge like okay I just don't have the energy or the brain capacity to do anything else the fact that I just have done that one thing is already enough for me and I think having that mindset and just allowing yourself to breathe in that sense really really helps and it doesn't matter how big or small right it doesn't have to be like wow I finished like one book today even if it's like one chapter one page one paragraph at least you've done something. And I think one thing that I really resonate with, I recently watched this um, slice of live K-drama, Liberation Notes, um, which I really recommend by the way. Um, and one of the things that the main character said in regards to happiness, um, she doesn't try to be, you know, happy all day, but just having a few seconds of happiness in a day is enough. doesn't have to be you know like being 
productive nine to five and filling in every hour every day to do something it could just be a very very tiny thing very simple thing that you do in that day um and that's already a win for you and you get to define what this is right for me like i said i don't care how big or small my task is or, or my co something that i complete in a day as long as it's something that i completed and that's already a good good enough thing for me and then whatever other thing that I decided to do that day, then that's a bonus. And number three, also schedule leisure time. For me, my leisure time is watching movies. Even during my non sort of slump days, I still schedule in watching dramas or movies. That's just how I relax and how I unwind. There you have it, guys. It's actually very simple. It's just to do one thing no matter what it is and don't judge yourself after you've done that it's just okay i've done one thing we have to sort of start breaking away from this whole idea of you know i have to be productive i have to make use of my time like very you know utilize it very well and everything like that but i do recommend you to read this book called four thousand weeks by uh, oliver berkman i think that's how you pronounce his name um i'm looking at that because the book is there um and yeah, um, I would really recommend that book. It talks about the art of disentangling yourself from the idea that you need to sort of fill in all of your calendars and to be productive. It really teaches me kind of this other perspective that you shouldn't be looking at, you know, your your life as only to like produce and only to work and work and work, which is what I've been doing actually. Um, again, especially during my high energy days. Um, and I'm still on my way to sort of learn and unlearn the way I use my time. But yeah, I really recommend the book. Once again, go ahead and read it if you are interested. But yeah, um, I hope you have learned something from this video. And if you like this kind of content, um, do let me know what else you want me to make in the future. Put it in the comment section or DM me on Instagram. And yeah, I will see you on my next video.